Welcome to Digital Asset News. Take a top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and bring on a bite-sized pieces. So today, instead of going over the news, we're going to do that later. I wanted to do what I think is more important, which uh, in the Army, we call this at an AAR, an After Action Review. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at uh, what happened yesterday and the lessons we can learn from it moving forward, because I think it's a super important to do this because uh, it's going to happen again. So first up, let's just pull up. We'll trade the chain action and just take a look at what is going on. So right now the market cap is 1.85 trillion, which is pretty good, uh, almost at 2 trillion. Uh, we were down to like 1.34 trillion. We lost a trillion dollars in uh, about a couple of weeks. <laughs> it just sounds funny saying uh, we lost a trillion dollars. I don't know where we put it. Hopefully we find it. And uh, yeah, here we are today at uh, almost coming up to 2 trillion. So we'll take a look real quick at the coins themselves and uh, how they've actually rebounded. Let me blow this up so you can see a little bit better. And uh, look, Bitcoin's almost at 42,000. Uh, Ethereum's almost at 3,000. Uh, Binance coin, everything's up pretty good. The one hour change, I mean, we're seeing some fantastic results, but look at the 24 hour change. That's more telling. Bitcoin, 32%. Ethereum, 45%. Imagine yesterday, if you just would have bought, how much, up, how much higher you would be in this time frame, look at Cardano, it's almost 70% up, back to almost $2. Uh, Tether, no one cares. Uh, 34% for XRP, 50 I mean, everything's just a great look at V Chain, almost 100% rebound in 24 hours. Congratulations to V Chain holders. I should have bought some more, but I bought everything else, it seems like. And yeah, pretty good. So I want to just bring up to the point of like when people talk about how this is different. And, uh, things are changing, and, and people will people send me all different types of things about why this actually happened. Uh, the Wyckoff method, the, where it's just you know massive manipulation. There was a thread on Reddit where it was some insider who said that he knew uh, the elites, and this was just going to happen. It's going to thirty thousand. It's going to rebound to a hundred thousand. And then people talk about China. I talk about China, and uh, in essence. This is the this is the great thing about being an investor and not like uh, just just the day trader or a swing trader or something like that. Is I don't really care. I, I don't really care what's going to happen because I see where things are going. It's the same thing that happened in the, in the dot com era. People were like, "It's just a fad. It's going to pass away." Yeah, we'll see how that happened. So it's the same thing here. I just set it and forget it. I dollar cost average. And I talk about this all the time, and it's funny because like as things start to go down, um, it seems like my views start to go up because people know you know, kind of what my philosophy is. And they kind of come back here just to learn just some basics. And then when things go up, they're like, ah, this guy doesn't know talking about. I'm going to put it all on whatever coin and, and then just let it ride. I'm going to just dump it all in. And, hey, man, look, uh, you do whatever you want to do. You know, my way is not the right way. Uh, this is just what works for me. My goals are not your goals. But it's important that we take a look today at what happened to the market and, uh, you know, how it rebounded and why it's, it's going to happen again. So real quick, we'll take a look at Bitcoin back in the day. Uh, I'm going to pull up this chart here. See, almost 42,000. And remember back in March 2020, when Bitcoin was at a whopping $5,032 on 16th of March? This is when the coronavirus came out. Because of people who were scared about that pandemic, didn't really understand it. And before you get in the comment section about how the uh, coronavirus is fake. I don't really care. This is money. So let's keep the emotions out of it. I don't really care. We can we can see that numbers are true. And this number said there was a huge dip. I don't care about the rest. And when this came out, people said this is different. Crypto is dead. It is going to zero. People are going to hold on to their gold and their silver and their cash and it'll never come back because people are scared out of their minds. Well, you know, that was un untrue and it just kind of kept going up and up and up. This is even in September, geez. And then we saw some highs. And then again, what happened? Another thing happened. Oh, China. Oh, mass manipulation. Oh, these whales, they're going to just, you know, crash into zero. And it's going to go uh, down. And here we are again, right? So yesterday, I put out this video and it said you should sell. And I got some heat for it because people were like, why would you put that video up? That's so ridiculous. How can you tell people to sell? Watch the video and you'll see that I said in the first two minutes, you should sell if this is too volatile for you. And there are some things that I believe in that uh, I, I try to pass on. And I just think that if people are basing their investment strategy 
over scrolling it through YouTube and seeing a thumbnail and going, yep, I should sell, then I can't help you. That's just how it goes. So I talked about why you should sell, when you should sell, and um, I just went over the, those criteria. And that was like the first couple minutes. The next 18 minutes, I explained why the market rebound, the things to look for, what happened in the past, and uh, just to kind of give you a better understanding and maybe a better feeling about the market. I think it, it worked uh, because a lot of people came out. I mean, besides the one who's like, how dare you put that thumbnail out? Whatever. Um, it doesn't matter. I can't reach everybody. And uh, I'm just trying to help the people that I can help. It's like, uh, you know, the combat medic. You just kind of save as many people as you can and go from there. So I put this out on Twitter yesterday, too. And I think it's important to remember is that you're not a victim of circumstance. Okay. Whatever happens around uh, outside of your circle of control, within your circle of control, around the people that you're in, you control everything. So if today's dip makes you uncomfortable, you got to think for yourself, how can I make it work for me? Right. If you think, Jesus, this dip is, is crushing me and I'll never rebound. You get, that's the one way to look at it. The other way to look at it is like, just like we always talk about, I can buy the dip. There's some fantastic sales. I know it will rebound because these things keep rebounding. And just like we saw in March, just like we saw yesterday. So crypto, I want you to repeat after me. Crypto will not go to zero. Just like the internet is not a fad. <laughs> it just sounds so ridiculous, doesn't it? But uh, it's just the truth. And then what I liked about yesterday was I got a lot of response from that video. And this was from, uh, I blocked out uh, his or her name. And I said, she said, he or she said, hey, my message may be lost in a bunch. You might receive every day, but I want to th thank you for your video this morning. I was about to cry and you made it all fine again with your explanations. And this is what the video was supposed to be to do. It, it was supposed to let people understand that these things happen. It's going to happen again, but you have to understand where you're at. You're at the right place at the right time. And you just got to remember these every time there's a huge dip that you have to be strong and tough and just go, I need to buy. I need to get this, I need to do that. These are just investment opinions, not investment advice. I am just one person in your plethora of people that you, you, can, you can look at. I'm sure there's a lot of people, I'm sure there's some people out there just that say, you know what, get out of the crypto market. Go listen to them. Maybe they know what, what they're doing. I don't know. Uh, but in the crypto community, we've still been right so far. So uh, look at the track record. And um, Speaking of track records, let me get to this. I'll get to that in a second. I want to say congratulations to Celsius uh, because yesterday there was a lot of liquidations going on on, on certain other platforms and uh, Celsius didn't have to liquidate anybody. It says uh, Alex says, wow, what a day. Bitcoin down 53% from all time high and yet Celsius Network managed to make lots of money and had zero institutional and DeFi defaults on our loans. While Coinbase and Best Voyager are not available and BlockFi block withdrawals, we continue to deliver for our customers. So again, there are some people that are like my man, Lucas, he's pretty, <laughs> he's pretty, uh, um, what's the word, reserved in uh, uh, Celsius and, and trust. But even he put out a, a tweet that said, hey, I, I got to tip my hat to these guys because they did it again. They did it twice. They did it in March when there was that Black Swan event we just talked about. And they did it today where they didn't have to liquidate anybody. So, you know. Just like in the army, you take a look at who's battle tested and who's been there, uh, courage under fire, and then you just go, I want to promote these guys. Well, in this case, you, t you take a look and go, I think these might be ones I can uh, trust. So congratulations, Celsius. And then a couple of last things I want to talk about is there was a tweet put out by Raul Powell, and it takes a look at uh, the Bitcoin price, the current Bitcoin. Let me blow this up so you can see it. Takes a look at, oh, you can't see it like that. Pull up browser. There we go. It takes a look at the price of Bitcoin from 2016 to 2018, which is during that massive bull run. That is in blue, which you can see it kind of goes up all the way here. And, uh, this is up to, you know, 20,000 back then. And then where we are at right now, the Bitcoin current price. So we had this huge drop off, but isn't that amazing how it almost parallels the exact same trend line that we saw in the last bull run in 2017 all the way uh, to July. And I actually talked about this yesterday for uh, these, these dips, how they average out to be about 
and it went down just like it went down before and then it recovered and then all the way up to here now if you take a look at that bitcoin goes to four hundred eighty thousand dollars. now me personally uh, i don't think that's going to happen as far as uh, bitcoin to four hundred eighty thousand by the end of this year that's pretty high but who knows i have a very reserved uh, price point of 130,000, which would, uh, which is right between the 120 and 240. And just so you know, if, uh, if we look at the market cap calculator, the circulating supply is about 18.5 million for Bitcoin. Everything's falls Bitcoin. That's why I'm always talking about it. Um, so it's around 40,000. It's market cap to be 740 billion. Just so you know, market cap is 782 billion. So we're close. If I put 41,000. So if we took a look and we extrapolated that out and said, well, 480,000 at 18.5 million, then the market cap is almost 9 trillion, which just so you know, the, the market cap of gold is like 12 trillion. So, you know, who knows? But uh, I honestly think that uh, it's going to go somewhere around 150,000, which just gives it almost a more, it's like 2.7. That's like 2.7 trillion. No big deal. 2.7 trillion. And that's where I think it's going to go. So uh, lessons from the past. It happened before. It'll happen again. It always rebounds. Make sure you buy the dip. Uh, if you can, investment opinion, not investment advice. And uh, if you didn't make it yesterday, don't worry. Just a learning experience and off you go. And I will finish up with this, which is people will always tell me it's different and uh, I'm shell shocked from the 2017 bull run. I'm not shell shocked. I just know where things are going. No, I know the tricks. I know the rug pulls and I know exactly the um, things that people play. So I said this institutions, you know, they said, Rob, institutions are going to stabilize the price. You don't know what you're talking about. Uh, and this is different uh, because all these institutions, institutions still get scared. They still have to uh, answer to their shareholders, and those people are also scared. And as long as greed, whales, and manipulation are still in the market, nothing changes. Just like nothing changes when the market rebounds, because it will always rebound, but I know where things are going. I think I know where things are going. The market will also have dips and retracements. And this is the things that you have to learn about. And that's it. So uh, take it or leave it. Look, if you like that video, uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That's it for today. Uh, if you would like to, it'd be great for me uh, and help the channel to subscribe. All things we talk about are very time sensitive, like we were just talking about this whole video. I'm going to do a news video to, to, today. We're going to talk about the Guggenheim CEO saying that first he said that Bitcoin is going to 400,000. Now he said it's all about tulips. And then we're going to take a look at the price of gold and stores of value and things like that. That's later. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, next time will be better. And uh, just realize that uh, the market's not going to zero. And that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. See you in the next one.